tension has enveloped communities in the Olu area and region of Imo State, especially in Osu local government area of Imo State, following the decision of soldiers to indiscriminately fire gunshots, ostensibly to stop the alleged planned attacks by men of the Eastern Security Network in the area. Members of the Eastern Security Network, being sponsored by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, were said to have regrouped for confrontation with security operatives and insisted that they must leave the town. This was after Governor Hope Uzodima had lifted the dusk to dawn curfew he imposed on the 10 council areas of the Imo West Senatorial District, Olu, to forestall further destruction of lives and property. A resident of Osu, Ihite Ukwa in Osu Council area, who spoke on the condition of anonymity, told correspondents that the shooting, which started on Wednesday evening, forced many residents of the area to desert their homes, while commercial activities and vehicular movement was paralyzed. He said a military helicopter hovered around the area and cautioned and caused anxiety a big pardon, among the people. However, the Nigerian Air Force said the helicopter belonged to the Joint Task Force and was dispatched to foil the plans of the Eastern Security Network men. Parents and guidance withdrew their children and wards from schools in the area, while riot policemen have continued to patrol the area. Recall that the Nigerian soldiers and the Eastern Security Network personnel were involved in a bloody attack just uh, weeks ago. But on Thursday, February 18, 2021, after reports had emerged and images began circulating that the Nigerian military helicopters were flying all over the Olu area, fear and palpitation began to set in on residents and people of the Southeast as they were not sure if they were safe anymore and what the intention of the flight, the helicopter or uh, battle jets were all about. Odachioma, a resident of Olu, told investigators that there is no chaos in the area where she lives. She said troops were still everywhere, but no one has been harmed as at the time of the report. Another resident of Olu, named Withheld, said he had not heard gunshots in the area yet. He said, we saw helicopters flying and the road is full of soldiers, but there is peace. We have not heard the sound of gunfire for a long time. He went on to say that some reported hearing gunshots in the Olu area, but on their side, the whole place was quiet. Babatunde Zubairu, spokesman for the Nigerian Army 34 Artillery Brigade, based in Obinzi, Oweri, Imo State, told reporters that they had, they had sent a, a helicopter to Olu area. Zubairu said it was because of their research, which the British called military intelligence, that they sent the drones there. Our aircraft was in Olu, but we didn't harm anyone, the spokesperson uh, concluded. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? The tension in Imo State has continued to uh, mount as people are not sure if there is a siege, if it, uh, it, it, should, it should be called a siege, because the presence of soldiers and uh, security forces are everywhere, and the continuous hovering of 
military fighter jets across the zone and the area has also intensified and continued. But however, it is yet to be uh, seen or heard if the, the area will be safe or if people will uh, be hurt in the process. You recall that the last time there was a clash between the Eastern Security Network members and the Nigerian army, there were casualties where uh, innocent civilians were killed, houses were burned, and a church was also burnt down. But in this case, there are yet to be reports of casualties at the moment. But the fears and tension has continued to rise and heighten as residents are scared not knowing what the next action of the Nigeria military would be. Well, it is sad and unfortunate. Nobody knows what will happen. Parents have, are said to have withdrawn their children from schools. You know, some have said to, are said to have actually been leaving the town for um, their relatives and are heading to different places, all in a bid to escape whatever might be the plan or whatever might eventually happen in the area. This fear and palpitation that has emerged and has heightened in the Olu zone is uh, worrisome as a lot of people are not sure if peace will uh, be retained and maintained. While the Eastern Security Network members have not yet been seen, or there have not been any retaliation or actions from their side, the IPOP has said that they have accepted the war that the Nigerian army has brought upon them. And it is yet to be seen what their next line of action would be. But it cannot be um, ignored that the Eastern Security Network members are the main reason why the Nigerian military is in Olu as it were. However, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular issue as it were. We will definitely be bringing you more information as things unfold and as things emerge and as things happen in Olu in Imo State. We, we, keep, we, keep, we will keep you informed. Drop by at the comment section let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story as it were. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thanks. I appreciate your support.